This is my 1997 Scott Endorphin Pro Racing. And it's interesting because most of these bikes you see online are the World Cup Series that have a cool design on this chain die here, but this one doesn't. It's just a standard Pro Racing. So when it was new, it was, I believe, $2,200 back in 1997. But the interesting thing about this bike is it's been fully upgraded to period correct 3x8 XTR components. So it's basically the same as the World Cup Series, which was also equipped with XTR. The regular one, when this thing was new, would have come with XT, I believe, a full XT group. Um, actually, the XTR um, shifters and brakes, both sides XTR brakes up here. Um, same for the rear. The rear derailleur is XTR, of course, XTR brakes, and an XTR crank set. The front derailleur, however, is only XT. Um, but it's just a beautiful design. Um, the material is, uh, see if, sounds like carbon, but it's actually a mix of carbon fiber and plastic, which never caught on. I believe it was called thermoplastic. Um, and it's such a cool design. To my knowledge, it's the last design, last bike to employ this elevated chainstay, which actually is meant to flex similarly to a full suspension bike and this perfect composition I guess allowed it to be rigid like a hardtail but flex when you need it to so uh, that's interesting um, but the design is just so beautiful the attention to detail with how it fades into this pattern and fades back out again is one of the most beautiful bikes in my opinion I love the unique design and they did produce this until 2001 I believe although it might be the 1997 model but most bikes most of these elevated chain stays went away in the early 90s but uh, not with the endorphin the other side's the same in the front you have a uh, RockShox Judy SL fork And it's in beautiful shape despite being 30 years old almost. And uh, fun fact, it only says endorphin on the chainstay on each side and on the seat actually, so if you have one of these things and the seat doesn't say endorphin it's not the original and good luck finding another one of those but I just got this bike in and finished putting it together I actually haven't rode it yet so um, I'm looking forward to doing that though it's such a cool design and it's very lightweight too I'd uh, reckon about 22 pounds Something like that. Team issue, and it is a large. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to share this unique bike with everyone.